Paso's Democratic mayor has declared a, a state of emergency, and he said that he would only do that when he felt he could no longer keep his community or the asylum seekers safe. He's saying that that time is now ahead of Title 42 expiring. Um, what is the White House response to that? So look, we have, uh, from day one, President Biden has taken steps to reduce disorderly migration while expanding legal pathways uh, for orderly migration. We are in uh, constant communication with the mayor of El Paso. We're surging, uh, we're surging uh, resources to the border. We're gonna continue uh, to do the work that is needed. We're gonna ask for the uh, additional funding, uh, the 3.5 billion additional funding requests from, um, uh, from Congress, uh, again, we're going to uh, continue to ask uh, for uh, additional funding from uh, from uh, con Congress uh, to assist us in, in dealing with this. Yeah, you know, there's there's video that was just released by one Republican member of Congress to show that it's really not making a difference. There was one border uh, patrol facility on Friday. Uh, he says there are 4,600 migrants in that facility. It, its capacity is 1,040, and we're still, you know, Title 42 is still in place with. They're at four times their capacity right now. So is the view that this is working, that, that, that those resources are working that you guys have said are from the you know, work of this president to, is that sufficient? Is it working? I mean, we're asking for $3.5 billion in additional funding to help us, right, with the challenges that we're seeing. So if congressional Republicans are serious about this, serious about dealing with what the challenges that we're currently seeing, uh, then they would uh, assist. We're asking for additional funding. We are surging uh, resources. Uh, but if they truly, truly want to assist, instead of doing political uh, ploys like they have been for the past several months. A little bit to Ed's question, though, you know, this push from the podium to get Republicans to send more resources to the border. A lot of them say that, you know, they hesitate to throw more money at a problem. The Homeland Security Secretary is saying that the border is secure. And some of the people who'd have to vote on that bill also don't have a lot of details on, you know, what's in it and where that money goes. But that, all that aside, um, if, you're, if you're saying that Republicans aren't doing the work um, to get this done, and then you have someone like Joe Manchin saying, well, the president has the ability to ask for an extension. He should be asking for an extension because we're at this point where you've got a deadline and a crisis. Is that within the president's authority to do that? So look, we remain we're, we remained under a court order to lift Title 42. That is Aren't a court order. That, that is a court order that is telling us to lift Title 42, and we're going to comply because we follow the rule of law. But the administration that is, sought to lift that it. That is, but it is a court order. But that is that started by you guys. It was a court order that has been provided to us, and so now we have to comply, and that is we have to comply by December 21st. It is it is a law so that has been don't put forth. Support? What I'm saying is that I, what I'm saying that it is a court order that has been presented to us that we are going to comply with. So you've asked a couple of questions, and I'm going to answer them. If you give them out, happy to do them again. You scale up. We want to scale up air and ground transportation capabilities to move migrants to processing to less crowded border patrol sector. Set up an additional B CBP holding facilities and sp and speed up the processing time so individuals can have their asylum claims uh, heard faster. Cure the border, 23,000. That is historic. We've not seen that before. And again, that is because of the work that this president has done. The $3.5 billion, there is a plan for it. There is a way forward. And But what we have been hearing from Republicans and seeing from Republicans in Congress is political ploys. They're not assisting. They're not offering any assistance. Many of them are not. And so we are asking right now, if they are serious about this, they are serious about dealing with the challenges, then they would uh, they would adhere to our funding request. 